<laughs> well, it finally happened, and I'm gonna explain how in this video. Come on. Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Well, it's November 26th. Here in the States, we celebrate Thanksgiving. So if you're here with us, happy Thanksgiving to all of you. And if not, happy Thursday to the rest of the world. Well, it finally happened. Um, and honestly, it was, yeah, it was my fault. I, I'm gonna show you exactly what happened here. Check this out. So basically, I needed a very small pencil and I was actually on the way to the bandsaw to cut this pencil out. And I just said, you know what? I just, I got the cross cut slit. Let me just cut through it. And I did it and instantly the blade went down into the saw stop and it triggered the break and it worked. Um, the graphite in the pencil is what set it off. So uh, a lot of times, uh, you know, anything kind of radioactive or not radioactive, what's the word? Uh, conductive, you know, your skin has, has it in it. Um, like a cell phone screen picks up, you know, how you touch it due to the technology in it. And I believe this works a similar way. Uh, anyway, this thing worked and when it happened, it didn't scare me as much as you would think. A lot of people say, oh, when it goes off, it scares you to death. Well, it might if you got your finger involved. And, uh, you know, unfortunately I did not. So, uh, but what was kind of a cool thing to me was that I got to find out that the saw that I have works. Okay. And I know they work and I get that. We've all seen the not cut a hot dog. But it is kind of a peace of mind uh, for me uh, that this happened. And yeah, I lost a pretty good blade, but I've reinstalled it and it was very simple to do. I'm not gonna show you how to go through the process of reinstalling one of these, these cartridges because if you do it wrong and you say, hey, Chris taught me, uh -uh. I'm gonna link down below the actual saw stop video on how to do it. You can follow their instructions. But this process really taught me a lot. Um, one, that my saw stop works. Two, that you really gotta pay attention and be careful on what you're cutting if you own one of these. Um, and three, quite honestly, it, it does really kind of bear in mind that it does work so quickly and it works so efficiently and it's just really nice to know. Um, so I just wanna share that with you guys this morning. Also, there's one other tidbit I'm gonna show you here. Uh, check this out as well. This is um, basically what I do periodically throughout the day as I'm working just to make sure that the uh, the saw stop is a good working order. So check this out. So essentially you can touch the blade and you can see the red light at the bottom letting you know that everything is kosher, everything is working. Pretty cool little system. It doesn't work. <laughs> it does work. <laughs> uh, you may be thinking, why was I trying to cut a little pencil? And I'll explain this in, in, in a brief kind of summary. Um, as a maker and as a woodworker, every once in a while, uh, we get to do a project for someone or something that means a bit more than your average project. And, and that's why. Uh, I'm gonna show you a few pictures here. I didn't film this process, but this is a table for a friend of ours. I've known these people for 15 years. It's a very uh, low profile, kind of a sleek looking table, a little bit modern design. Um, and <clears throat> they have a little boy. Actually, he's not little anymore. He's 15 years old. And beyond his genetic condition, I'm not sure exactly what it is, uh, but he is uh, is in a wheelchair. He's been in a wheelchair his whole life. And um, this table means a lot because he's able to scoot up underneath it to have his meals and whatnot. And over time, he's gotten bigger. His chairs have gotten bigger. And now the table itself, as perfect as it is, isn't high enough. So I've gone through a process, and I'm gonna show you a couple of thumbnails here, um, of raising the table up and also refinishing it with a quarter inch piece of Baltic birch that we then made a different color completely um, to match the new chairs that are gonna be in this aesthetic. And quite frankly, it's, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I don't have any footage of, of, of the young man at the table, um, but it was one of those kind of special projects where I felt like what I was doing for someone because I have, you know, this hobby in this business, um, I was able to help someone in need uh, and it was just, it's, it's a great feeling. A lot of times, um, oh, <laughs> one second, baby. A lot of times that means a lot to people. Um, the fact that, you know, uh, they know someone who's in the working, the woodworking or the making community. I'm, I'm gonna share this with you. You can see the back of my shirt. It says make life matter, right? Or make life better, <laughs> make life better. Um, and that kind of has like a bunch of meanings all involved. One, you know, make and your life is better. <laughs> Me meaning, hey baby, thank you. If you make, your life is better. Meaning, well, not only do you get the gratification of doing something for yourself, right? Making a project, taking pride in it, but you can also make other life, others' lives a little bit better by, you know, increasing their productivity, 
if you're building them, who knows? Or in this case, it was helping them on a daily basis with making their daily routines a bit easier, and which they didn't have access to this stuff, and I did, and I was so happy to do it for them. So, and I've also got these t-shirts. This isn't a plug for that, but these t-shirts are at Teespring if you wanna check them out. But the Make Life Better initiative here is, yeah, you get it, right? You make, your life is better. And in doing so, you're making your life better as well. So it's all about progressing to the next thing and tinkering and doing what you can in the shop as makers. And every once in a while, you do something, <laughs> you do something extremely gratifying. And this was one of those projects. Okay, you wanna say bye to the people? Oh. <clears throat> Bye-bye, right. people. Bye-bye, people. So thanks for joining us, guys. Have a great Thanksgiving. Uh-oh. And you guys have a wonderful day. Bye. Oh, say bye.